I would like to now introduce our faculty speaker. Cornelia Lang holds the rank of associate professor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Her research interests focus on understanding the astrophysics at the very center of our Milky Way galaxy and of other nearby galaxies using radio telescopes at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in New Mexico and also satellites such as the Hubble Space Telescope. Professor Lang especially enjoys teaching the large introductory astronomy lecture courses and was awarded with the Collegiate Teaching Award in 2007 and the President and Provost Award for Teaching Excellence in 2013. Professor Lang. It is a great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the graduation of each of you from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and from University College. You look great out there. I am also pleased to be sharing the day with your families and your friends. And as a member of the faculty, I want to take a few moments to reflect upon your experience here at the University of Iowa. I had the honor of giving this graduation address almost exactly 10 years ago. And in preparing my thoughts for today, I have been thinking about how these last 10 years at the University of Iowa have transformed me. I am struck by the fact that I think and I hope we have undergone a similar journey, one of making meaningful connections across the disciplines and broadening our minds. We can only hope to repeat this journey of learning many times over the course of our lives. I will explain my journey in a little more detail. As an astronomer, I spend time with my students observing and interpreting the inner workings of our Milky Way galaxy. However, through the teaching of introductory level astronomy courses and a lot of student interest, I have become fascinated myself by the study of astrobiology which is the study of life and the search for life in the universe. This field draws upon many different sciences, social sciences, and even humanities. I soon realized I could not properly teach astrobiology on my own. I had to seek out colleagues in biology, geoscience, and anthropology. Fortunately, at an institution like ours, colleagues in these departments were willing and ready to engage in scientific and even philosophical conversations about astrobiology, which ultimately led to us teaching a set of courses together. Through this recent collaboration, I have learned to branch out from my disciplinary boundary and extend myself over disciplines. This experience has been far more satisfying than I could have ever imagined and has opened my eyes, broadened my mind, and taken me across our university. And moreover, it has simply just been more fun to be in the classroom with colleagues, teaching and engaging with students together. In return, this experience has brought newfound energy into my own disciplinary work as an astronomer and a member of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. I imagine and I'm hoping that my recent experience is something that you, each of you, has gone through as you moved through the curriculum in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Your program of study here would have led you through some courses, perhaps through the general education program, like Sophie mentioned, that took you outside your comfort zone to new places in the universe, so to speak, whether that be poetry, anatomy, criminology, women's studies, or the history of jazz, just to name a very few. These were courses that hopefully opened your minds and challenged your beliefs, courses that asked you to collect perspectives from different disciplines to create meaningful insight. Together, this academic experience, as we've heard a number of times already this morning, is called a liberal arts education. The Association of American Colleges and University defines a liberal arts education for the 21st century as an approach to learning that empowers individuals and prepares them to deal with complexity, diversity, and change. It provides students with broad knowledge of the wider world through science, culture, and society, as well as an in-depth study of a specific area of interest, your major, for example. 
In a survey that this organization carried out of employers of recent college graduates, more than 90% of employers said that they gave hiring preference to college graduates with skills that will enable them to contribute to innovation in the workplace and preference to graduates with a demonstrated capacity to think critically, communicate clearly, and solve complex problems, a theme that you have heard today already. These are the skills that you forged through our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and University College. Going forward, each of you will use this liberal arts education. Each of you will likely follow many more varied and diverse pursuits in your professional lives than previous generations have. The world is changing, and that's exciting. The future is big, the future is bold, the future is complex, and you will need both broad knowledge and specific knowledge. In addition, you will need to collaborate and cooperate with those who bring new perspectives to each of you. Many of the big challenges we face can only be addressed by crossing boundaries, crossing disciplines, crossing continents. To develop innovative solutions to problems as pressing as climate change, food insecurity, and clean water. To develop new types of technology, we need to collaborate and cooperate more than ever before in our history. So my hope for each of you on your graduation day is that you continue to use the insight that you have developed across the disciplines here at the University of Iowa and to reach out to broaden your own horizons and to seek meaning and passion in your lives. I know that my colleagues assembled here and across the University of Iowa have taken great pleasure in working with you over your time here. As our students, you have allowed us to grow intellectually through our shared work. I hope the degree you're about to receive will inspire you to keep learning for the rest of your lives. From all of us to all of you, congratulations.